Hello. Yes. Nigel Farage needs to organise the bad boys of Brexit again. That's right. Because a guerrilla war is indeed needed. We are in the 11th hour. We are being sold out by Theresa May and all the rest of the traitors. You see, the so-called Tory coup, it's fizzling out. It's dying on its feet, isn't it? And I believe that the only one left that's then going to take all the flack from May and all the rest of the traitors will be Jacob Rees Mogg. The rest will abandon him. They'll just give in, buckle under as they always do. And it reminds me of the 1981 Spanish coup. Do you remember it? Antonio Tejero, where he stormed the Spanish Parliament with his pistol. I think he had about 150 other Guardia Civil with him. But he was let down by the military. The tanks didn't come rolling in to back him up and it failed. He was arrested and jailed for 15 years. Well, this is what's going to happen to uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, minus the dramatics and uh, 15 years in jail. But it's similar, except, as I say, it's not as dramatic and he's not going to jail for 15 years. Uh, also, Mr Farage, you don't need UKIP or Tommy Robinson. They need you. I'm sure they'd love you back in UKIP because then you're associated with all the embarrassment and nonsense that's befell UKIP since you left. You need to go this alone with the bad boys of Brexit behind you. You need to organise the 17.4 million Brexiteers, the People's Army, behind Mr Brexit. And I was thinking also, you don't need a political party at the moment. That will come after you've been elected to Parliament, right? You can do this, Mr Farage. Right. But go this alone. Go this alone with um, the hope, the intention, whatever the word is, of being elected to Parliament. Right. You, you're better by yourself. You can fight this better by yourself with your friends and with your backers and the bad boys of Brexit, as well as 17.4 million Brexiteers behind you. Because once you're elected to Parliament, your political party is in the making overnight. So organise the bad boys of Brexit and leave UKIP and Tommy Robinson to their own devices. OK, thank you.